Welcome to Chef Joni's Kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make a prawn fritters or you, in Malay, in Malaysia, you call it a chucho udang. I'm going to make this uh, for tomorrow's meeting for the seniors gathering. And uh, because I'm going to make it for a big group, so I have to stretch. So what I'm going to do is, what I have done is to chop everything into smaller pieces so that I can make into small uh, doughs. Okay, here is a chili paddy. Or I, in here I make a, a use of the Vietnamese chili that I have from my organic garden. Chop it up. If you like it, the uh, big slices, it's up to you. But I, I want it to go stretch. So I'm making it small and uh, here also, uh, this is optional, this is addition uh, to the recipe and that is shallot. I chop it up into fine pieces because I like variety. So in addition to the onions, the big onions uh, which I also cut into small pieces, cubes, and then um, salt and pepper to taste. And this is also optional because I have in my fridge, so I'm going to add to it parsley and cilantro, which I chop it up into small pieces. And then here is the uh, baking soda, half teaspoon, and uh, 200 gram of AP flour, plain flour. And here is uh, uh, some prawns. So I bought ten dollars worth. It's about half a cat tea or so, and so I, I chop cut it into small pieces. I didn't want to chop it up. I mesh it. Uh, I slice into small small pieces, and then there's uh, one bunch of um, uh, what do you call chives, gu chai, and some water, and then here is. Uh, uh, about three cups, four cups. I'm putting more than what is necessary so that it can stretch and then I break it up into uh, crush it so that uh, it will stretch. So these are the things you just have to mix them together and then uh, fry it into small pieces. Okay? As, and fry it to golden brown. I'm sorry. Okay, here you can see that I have mixed the things together, and uh, the, the this is the thickness. Okay, this is the thickness of the dough, not too watery, so that uh, it will bind the things together. It will hold all the ingredients together, and then uh, I use a spoon. To, to scoop it up to make sure that uh, there's enough of the flour and a mixture of all the other ingredients together and then push it into the oil. The oil must be hot enough but not too hot to burn the thing so I must have the right uh, temperature. Not to overcrowd the the oil, the the wok, so that um, the ingredients will be fried nicely. If it is too crowded, the temperature will fall, and then it won't give you the brown color that you want. Okay, and so I make sure that I have uh, the prawns and the onions and everything in. At the same time, I must keep an eye on my the, or the thing that I'm frying inside here, not to get it brown, black. Cannot afford to waste any bit of it because I have to feed more than 70 people. So 
so I have to control the fire. Once it's too hot, then I'll have to lower down the fire. Okay, and uh, if it's too hot, it will the outside will get burned, but the inside will not be cooked. So it is very essential to get everything uh, the right temperature, the right amount in the wok, and so on. And I so must get this going okay so this will be my last last second last batch Right, here you can see that I put the paper to seep, uh, to mop up the oil and uh, it's ready for eating. As you can see, the inside is cooked. Okay, it's steaming hot and uh, it is cooked. Right, so enjoy and uh, see you next time. And if you like what I'm doing, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and uh, subscribe uh, when I'm posted in the YouTube, okay?